Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eamon Grogan, and I'm a member of the Dunabate Historical Society for many, many years now. My story concerns a revolver that I came into possession of in the 1950s. It was rusted, it was in very poor condition. Subsequently, I cleaned up the gun, etc., and I decided to do some research. As my friend had told me, that it had been found in the thatch of an old cabin that was adjacent to a place called, and still exists, Castle Lambert in Attenroy County Galway. There was an attempted assassination in that area the 11th of July 1869, and the landlord of the area was a man called Captain Lambert. The Barrett family were evicted from their home in Moor Park in County Colby. And when Ward reached London, Peter Barrett, a, son, a member of the family, he decided to get revenge. Ward purchased a second-hand gun from a gun dealer, returned to Ireland. He uh, sussed out the landlord's modus operandi, what he did in the evening, what he did in the afternoon, etc., etc. And he waited for him one evening. Uh, Lambert was returning home through his estate. He was struck three times. One of the bullets struck a pocket watch, which deflected the bullet, which would have struck his heart. Whereas the consequences was that he didn't die, and Lambert struggled back to the house, raised the alarm. In the meantime, Peter Barrett fled. Peter Barrett was arrested that evening on the Attenroy train and was heading for due to leave for Dublin. He was subsequently charged with the attempted assassination. He had the, for his defence, he had Sir Isaac Butt, who was a parliamentarian and a leader of the, the Irish Parliament in Westminster Parliament Court. He was tried in Galway and found not guilty. And the authorities weren't satisfied with the eviction and he was subsequently brought to Dublin and tried again. And once again, Boris been fortunate to have Sir Isaac Butt as his defence counsel. There was three witnesses who gave evidence to give evidence against Barrett, but two of them denied recognising Barrett as the assassin, and one said definitely identified Barrett as the assassin. That this particular man had bad sight. Isaac Butt had used a needle, thread, and asked the three witnesses to tread the needle. Two of the witnesses who did not identify Barrett threaded the needle with no problem. The third who gave evidence of identifying Barrett could not tread the needle. And once again he was found not guilty. The revolver is on display in the Dunabate Museum at Newbridge House.